Okay, guys. Start with three cleansing breaths. Close your eyes. Hands to heart center. Deep breath. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth and just let go. Two more times. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Make your way to your mat. Come to embryo, child's pose, with your knees touching, forehead down, hands back towards your heels, cup your heels if that feels okay. Press your third eye into the floor. Breathe into the space behind your heart. Start to come into ujjayi in through the nose. Out through the nose. And release your hands to your low back. Interlacing your hands, make a fist and using that fist to pull you upright, keeping your back rounded until your hands drop towards your heels. Then round your chin up towards the ceiling. If it feels okay, press your knuckles down and tucking your tailbone, hips push away from the heels, stretch the front of your hips. Back down, release your hands out in front of you. Reach your hands above your head, look up. Place your hands down tabletop. Move through a couple rounds of cat-cow, arching as you breathe in and rounding as you breathe out. Inhale, heart forward, tailbone lift. Exhale, tuck your tailbone around your back. Maybe do a few rounds with your hands, a couple different positions. I'm going fingertips back. I'm going to drop to my knuckles, push down into the tops of my fists. Now, back down, flat back, tabletop position. I'm gonna lift up my right leg, take it to the side, and then drop it down. Two more like that. Squeezing the outer thigh, lift, avoid leaning to the left, and then back down. Last time, I'm gonna lift it up and hold. Now from here, I'm gonna drop the knee down and take the toe up, rotating in the hip, and then back out. And then knee down, toe up and then back out. Still squeezing the outer thigh, hold back up with the toe. Extend that leg behind you, cross it all the way to the back left corner of your mat. Push back through that right heel. Now gaze over your left shoulder, lengthen your right side body. Dropping the knee, sit your hips back with your knees crossed, press into your forms and round your upper back. Good, now right leg back behind you. Kick it all the way to the side with your leg straight. Three times lift and lower, squeezing that outer thigh. Back behind you, heel to the back of your mat and then tabletop, switch sides. Left knee opens and down. Keeping the knee bent, squeeze the outer thigh. Lift open, down, lift open. You're gonna hold, now rotate the knee down and the big toe up and then open to the side. Two more, knee down, toe up. Squeeze to the side, and then knee down, toe up. Hold there, extend the leg back. Stretch it all the way to the back right corner of your mat, pause. Gaze over your right shoulder. Lengthen that left side body. Drop down to the knee, set your hips back towards your heels, forearms down round to your upper back. Taking the left leg behind you, come back to your palm. Take that heel all the way to the side from your left foot and lift the lower foot to knee. Two, one. Back behind you, both knees down. Tuck your toes. Switch the heels. Lift your knees and come into downward facing dog. Walk your dog. Move around a little bit. And play with widening or shortening your stance. Spread your fingers wide, push down into your palms. Now, hands backwards, hold your toes. Come into a forward fold of your choice. Maybe ragdoll, maybe grab the backs of your calves, or maybe interlace your hands above your head. 
chest to thighs. I'm keeping my knees pretty soft for this first forward fold. You can go deeper if you're ready to straighten your legs more. Just keep a lot of that roundness out of your upper shoulders. Think about pulling the chest to the thighs. Okay, hands down. Lengthen your spine. Gentle twist. Bend the left knee. Take the right arm up. Other side. Fold. Now sit back into downhill skier. Bring your hands to heart center. Rise onto the ball of your right foot and then in and out three times. In, out with the knee. Squeeze in, press out. In, down. Now, same thing, other side. Lift your left knee in, out. In, press out. Squeeze in, press out. And then down. Downhill skier, stand, reach your arms above your head, and then squan dive forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, flat back. Hold this first one. Pull the crown of your head forward. Now, folding two more times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Last time, inhale, lengthen. Fold. Crawling forward. High plank. Drop your hips in line with your shoulders. Draw your low belly in. Exhale, down dog. Two more of these. High plank. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Now switching it up. Inhale to your high plank. Exhale, down dog. Top your right hand to your left thigh and then release. Down dog. Left hand to right calf. Plank. Right taps left. Plank. Left taps right. Plank. Right taps left. Plank. Left taps right. Plank. From plank to a crouching down dog. Hips to heels. Back to plank. Two more of these. Crouch back, knees are bent. Forward to plank. Crouch back. Hold the crouch. Drop your knees. Maybe untuck your toes. Now, three times bend your elbows and straighten your arms. Bend your elbows. Don't let them go out. And then straighten. Insides of your arm bones turned up. Last time bend. And now you're going to walk your knees a little bit back. Drop your hips down. Come into a cobra pose. Slide your hands a little back if you have the space. Lifting up, shoulder dips, right drops to the center. Look to the left. Switch sides, left drops to the center. Come back, keep going. Drop left, drop right, drop left, drop right. Now back to child's pose. Back to downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward into a runner's lunge. From here, walk your hands to the inside of your right foot. Drop to your left knee. Stay on your palms and work on opening through your chest, pulling your chin forward as your hips drop. So think about it as a, a spinal extension in your lunge. Half splits, frame your right foot, come to the heel of your right foot. Straighten your right leg, pulling your right hip back and your chest forward. Now sweeping forward, tuck your back toes, revolve side angle, take your right arm up. Now start spinning to the outsides of your feet. Bring your right foot in a little bit and hip dips for three down, inhale up down. Inhale up. Last time, exhale down. Inhale up and spin into cheetah. Pausing, drop your right chin down for modified side plank. Kickstand that right foot, spin your left foot flat, open through your left side. Option, become light on your left toes. Slide that foot in like you're doing Baddha Konasana. Press your heels together and then squeezing your outer thigh, particularly your left outer thigh, roll your chest to the ceiling. Good. Release, straighten your left leg. 
re-tuck your right knee to your chest for cheetah. And then with your knee bent, lengthen that leg up to the sky, taking a hip open three point, right heel falls to the left hip. Straighten the leg, square the hips downward facing dog. Gaze between your hands, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Gazing forward again, left foot steps forward, runner's lunge. Hands inside of left foot, drop down to your right knee. Now take a few deep breaths, opening up through your chest. Frame your left foot. Roll onto the heel of your left foot with your toes flexed up as you drag your hips back. Lengthen your spine and fold half splits. Now you're going to lunge forward, revolve side angle, sweep your left hand forward and up, rolling to the outer edges of your feet, point your left toes away and walk your left foot in a little bit, hip dips for three, lift, down, lift, last time dip down, and then as you lift, spin into cheetah, drawing your left knee to your chest, pause, breathe in, drop your knee, breathe out, open modified side plank, breathe in, become light on your right toes, slide that right foot in and stack your feet like Baddha Konasana. Squeeze your outer thighs and then you're going to roll your chest to the ceiling. If it's too much, just stay in modified side uh, plank. Straighten your right leg, tuck your left toes, left knee in. Now kick that leg up to the sky, rolling into a hip open three point. Left heel falls to your right hip. Straighten the leg, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward shoulders over the wrist. Exhale, elbows in lower halfway. Inhale, roll through for up dog. Roll back for downward facing dog. We'll start to build a little heat. Stay in your down dog, couple more breaths. Rise up to your tippy toes. Soften your knees, step foot forward for forward fold. Lengthen, fold chair. Chair, stand all the way up, open your chest, fold forward, lengthen. As you fold, soften your knees and step your left foot back. Now fly your hands behind you and take it into warrior one as you inhale. Exhale, hands lower to chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Like this, we'll alternate sides, rising up to the balls of your feet. Emptying your lungs, step your foot forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Standing, opening your heart. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. Soften the knees, right foot steps back. Spin that foot flat. Fly your hands back and rise up to warrior one. Exhale, lower your hands and step back to chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, we'll do two more rounds. Inhale, high to the balls of your feet. Soften your knees, step float forward. Lengthen, fold, chair, chair, stand open your heart. Bow forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, soften the knees, step your left foot back. Fly your hands back, pull your heart forward, lengthen your hands up where you're one. Place your hands down, step back, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. High to the balls of your feet, soften the knees, step or foot forward. Lengthen, bow, rise, chair. Stand all the way up and then you're gonna fold forward. Lengthen, bow. Soften the knees. You're going to step your right foot back. Hands fly back and reach up, warrior one. Hands go down and step back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Breathe in and out. Rise up. Soften your knees. Step or flip forward. Lengthen. 
fold, chair, chair stand, bow forward, lengthen, soften the knees, step your left foot back, fly your hands back, pull your heart forward, and then reaching up where you're one. Exhale, hands down, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, last round in and out. Rise to the balls of your feet. Empty your lungs, step or float lightly, no sound. Lengthen, fold, rise, chair, stand, straighten legs, open the heart, bow forward. Lengthen, bow forward, soften the knees, right foot steps back. Hands fly back, heart pulls forward, then up to warrior one, reach, reach, reach. And then down, step back, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a few breaths. Stay here in your downward facing dog. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit for the standing series. Okay, meet me back in downward facing dog. Right leg three point. Cheetah. Three point. Cheetah. Last time, inhale three point. Exhale, cheetah, hold and squeeze. Place your foot between your hands, warrior one, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Moving in your warrior two, inhale, straighten your legs, palms face up, tap above your head. Exhale, warrior two, palms down. Inhale, palms up, straighten right leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, palms up, straighten right leg. Now, warrior two. Last time, stand, turn your right toes in. Fold forward. Lengthen your spine. Turn your left toes out for skandasana. Sink as low as you can go, keeping that weight back in the left heel. Flex the right toes up. Sweep around. Runner's lunge into grounded warrior three. Your right foot is forward. Your left heel is kicking to the wall behind you. Now draw your left knee in for standing cheetah, rolling up to standing stork pose. Left knee to chest, take your hands above your head. Bring your hands to heart center. Now start to take your left knee out, keeping your heel stacked under your knee. Now kick the heel up, knee down, sort of like you did in tabletop, and you start to lower down with your knee soft. Right hand down, left side opens out to Ardha Chandrasana. So you move from kind of a hugged in position to a big, open, expansive position. Standing split, square your hips, bow your head. Lift your left toes a little bit higher. Big step back. Plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Other side. Left leg lift. Cheetah. Three point. Cheetah. Three point. Cheetah. Squeeze. Hold. Breathe in. Place your foot between your hands. Breathe out. Warrior one. Inhale. Exhale to warrior two. Now inhale, straighten your left leg, touch your hands above your head. Exhale, bend, palms down, warrior two. Inhale, reach up and straighten the left leg. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach, straighten, warrior two. Reach, straighten, turn the toes in. You're bowing forward with your legs wide. Lengthen your spine. Turn your right toes out for skandasana. Sink to the inside of your right foot. Maybe flex your left toes to the sky. Pull your chest forward as your hips drop back. Pivot back to the top of your mat, grounded where you're free folding of your left leg. Press your to the back of your mat, bow your head. Draw your right knee to your chest, standing cheetah. Keep the squeeze, and you're going to rise up, reaching your hands in front of you and above your head for stork pose. Hands to heart. It's going to rotate that right knee out. Heel under the knee, and then kick the knee back and the heel up. Bending both knees, start to drop your chest, and you're going to open into Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon. 
left side grounded, right side open. Standing splits, lean forward as you reach up to your right toes, inner thigh spiral to the ceiling, step back runner's lunge, step back plank pose, shift forward chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Again, adding on, right leg lift. Cheetah, this time hold cheetah three times, knee stays where it is, tap the big toe, heel to glute. After your third, hold and step forward, rise to warrior one. Open out to warrior two, this time inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, tap, modified side angle, form to thigh, reach your left arm up and over. Two more, inhale, peaceful. Exhale, modified side angle. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, modified side angle, hold here, or to move into full side angle, maybe taking a half bind or a full bind. It's your practice, you decide. Wherever you are, work on re-extending your left rib cage towards the sky, keeping your shoulders and your hips pretty stacked, strong through your back leg. Squeeze your back inner thigh, inner calf. Release if you have the bind. You're gonna rise back to warrior two. Five pointed star. This time palms go down and wide, wide leg fold. Lengthen your spine. Pivot to your left foot for skandasana. Now reach your hands forward. If you can go deeper, you're gonna sit all the way back. And then you're gonna sweep your right hand behind you and lift up to a warrior's bridge, pressing into your left foot, reaching your left hand forward. Now release and you're gonna sweep back around into grounded warrior three and you're gonna come back in for that tucked position. Option, three supported pistol squats. Shoot your foot forward and then come back to supported cheetah. Hips go back, shoot that foot forward. Back into standing cheetah. Last time, shoot that foot forward. Back into standing cheetah. Left knee stays in, you're gonna rise up standing stork pose. This time, tree pose. Place your foot on your inner thigh. Bring your hands to heart center and really focus on squeezing the left foot into the thigh. Thigh squeezes back into the foot. Then you're gonna detach the right foot from the left leg, coming into that standing position, kicking back. Now see if you can bring your right hand to your left foot. Spunky. Now, maybe also your left hand to your left foot. You're binding with both of your hands and you're working to stack your hips and spin your chest open like half moon. And then maybe put that right hand down candy cane to regular half moon to standing splits. Three hops if you'd like to move towards a handstand. Think left foot up, right heel tucking in, shifting the hips over the shoulders. Land and step back to plank pose. And then moving through your vinyasa, we'll need to drop the knee. Inhale, left leg lifts to three points. Shida, tap the big toe, curl the heel. Tap the big toe, curl the heel. Tap the big toe, curl the heel. Step forward. Warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, modified side angle. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, modified side angle. Inhale, peaceful. Exhale, modified side angle. Stay or deepen into full side angle with a half or full bind. Again, focus on keeping the shoulders and the hips relatively stacked. The hips low. If you have a bind, release it. Warrior two to five pointed star. Bow forward. Lengthen. Right side stand off. Now sink back. Option, reach your hands out in front of you. Drop your hips all the way down. Now, left hand behind you. Pick up your hips. Pick up your right arm for warrior's bridge. Drop back down to skandasana. Reaching forward, peel your hips off the floor. Now, pivot back. Grounded warrior three. Top of the mat. You're folding over your left leg. Knee to chest. Come into that standing cheetah and then kicking forward to supported pistol squat. Two more. After your third, hold standing cheetah. Rising up into that stork pose, knees to chest, hands above your head. Now reach for your foot, come into tree pose. Hold your tree for a few breaths, steady your gaze. Now detach your foot from your thigh, bringing your heel under your knee. Softening your standing left knee, you're going to start to kick your right foot back. 
coming about halfway down. Reach your left hand back and see if you can grab your right foot with your left hand. And then reaching back, grabbing a hold of your right foot with your right hand. So you're bound with both hands. Maybe release to Tripasana, half moon to standing splits. Option folder, take three hands, stand hop. Landing your third, step back with your right foot and then plank, vinyasa, or dog. Hopping up to the balls of your feet, you're going to float forward, walk your dog, walk forward or float forward. Now, forward fold, bending your knees, sit all the way down onto your booty. Cross your ankles right over left and squeeze in, then come into Navasana and hold for three, two, one. Cross your left over your right and squeeze in. Just alternate like that. So come into boat. Right over left, squeeze in. Come into boat. Left over right, squeeze in. Boat. Last round, bend your knees, feet flat to the floor, hands behind you now. Open your knees and kind of reach, reach, reach toward keeping your feet flat. Do that a few times, reach, reach, reach. Reach, 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 see if you can pull your booty off the floor, ground your palms, maybe take a step back if you need to, bakasana, knees to the backs of your arms, lift your feet. Optional, shoot back to chaturanga or step back and we'll meet in down dog. Walk back to your feet, forward fold. Malasana, walk your feet out wide, heels down, toes turned out slightly. Press your elbows against your inner thighs, inner thighs against your elbows, tailbone down and head up. Hands down, forward fold. Bend your knees and you're gonna roll up to standing one vertebra at a time. Mountain pose at the back of your mat. Coming into Giridasana. Soften your knees. Right knee comes in. Cross your right knee over your left knee. Then opening out your arms, hug your right elbow under your left elbow. Circle your hands back around to meet with your fingertips. To figure four, so taking the right ankle, oh, I'm sorry, actually, big toe hold. Draw the right knee to the chest, key sign fingers to the big toe, shoot the heel forward. Standing very tall. Now bend the knee, figure four. Right ankle over the left thigh, heel is flexed, sit your hips back. See if you can drop your hips a, low, a little bit lower, hands down, keep yourself in figure four and tiptoe forward towards a downward facing dog. Now you're gonna roll that right knee over the left knee. And you're gonna start to lean into your right hand. I messed up a little bit at the beginning. So you're in your right hand and you're gonna roll inside of your left foot. Sweep your left hand up towards the sky. Now see if you can come from more of a compact position to a stretched out position, lengthening through your left side. And then rolling your right knee into your chest, cheetah. You're gonna place your left hand down. Tap right knee to right tricep and then cheetah, mountain climber prep, cheetah, mountain climber prep, cheetah, mountain climber prep, cheetah to revolve side plank. Roll your right foot under your left hand, open up through your heart. Now here, a little tricky, roll up onto your heels, press out through your feet, and then slowly lower down to your booty so you're in a wide leg position. Lean back a little bit, now pick up your right foot, cross right knee over left knee, for seated cow face, Gomokasana, fold forward, chest over knees. Toes are pointing in opposite directions. Now as you roll up, you're gonna spin towards the back of your mat, right foot flat, you're on your left shin. Press down, now squeeze in, standing cheetah, left knee to chest. 
Now squat the hips back and shoot your left foot forward for that pistol squat. See if you can reach your hands forward. Now drop all the way down to your hips. Circle your left hand behind you. Reach your hips up and your right hand up and back for a back bend. Now you're gonna sit all the way down. You're gonna take your left hand to your right shin, cross around cheetah, right knee to chest back to the top of your mat. One-legged plank, walk your hands really wide. One-legged push-ups, do three. And then you're lowering all the way to your chest. Keep that leg lifted. Extend your left arm to the side. Right foot flips behind you for that shoulder stretch. Adjust a little bit where you are. So you've got your left palm out, reaching to the left. You've got your right foot behind your left knee like a kickstand. Take a couple of breaths. You want to build a little bit on some of that expansion, contraction type energy. Start to pull your right knee towards your right shoulder, elbow to knee, and then reach out and curl in. Reach out and curl in. Last time, reach out, curl in, and grab your big toe. Kick your heel to the ceiling. Maybe start to roll your gaze a little bit up. Release, roll back onto your belly. Walk your hands wide, a little wider than your shoulders and mat. Come under your fingertips, and you're just gonna roll your chest off the floor and then down. Two more. Roll up, forehead comes up last. Roll your chin down, forehead comes down last. Last time. All the way down into a child's pose. other side. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands to your feet. Soften your knees. Begin to roll up. Take your time. We're going to stand at the back of the mountain mountain pose. Eagle, left knee to chest. Cross your left knee over your right knee. Opening your arms, left elbow under right elbow. Circle your palms back to meet. Reach your fingertips up towards the sky. Unravel, draw the knee in for stork option, big toe hold. Reach for the left big toe with the peace sign fingers. Push the heel forward. Stand tall from the right heel all the way up to the crown of the head. Figure four, flex the left heel, sit the booty back. Now lean the chest forward and reaching forward, ground your hands and start to slowly crawl forward. Keep those figure four legs for a moment. You're gonna cross more like eagle and then you're gonna roll into your left hand, inside of right foot and work on stretching out through that right side. Cheetah. Tap mountain climber prep to cheetah, mountain climber prep to cheetah, mountain climber prep to cheetah. Last time, kick out into revolve side plank, rolling open, and then coming to the heels, lower all the way down. Kick up that left leg so you can cross right under left knee stack, cow face pose, gomokasana, just the leg variation, hinging forward here. Left arm reaches up. And then as you come. 
come back down, you're gonna cross your left foot to the outside of your right thigh and lift your. So you should have your left hand grounded behind you, then you sweep up. And then you're gonna circle your left foot to the outside of your right thigh, come back into cheetah. And then kick back, one-legged plank. Three wide arm push-ups with your leg lifted. Complete the third and then lower down, keeping that leg lifted. Reach out for your right arm, palm is flat, roll into that shoulder stretch. So you got your right arm out, left foot behind the right knee. Knee to chest, three elbow to knee taps. Holding in on the third one, if you wanna go into the hip stretch, grab your big toe, kick your heel to the side. Focusing on extending through the spine. Maybe lift your elbows. Continue to roll the insides of your elbows towards the ceiling. And then lowering down. You're going to sit back into a child's pose. Maybe walk your hands forward. Bring your hands into prayer. Press your elbows into the mat. And move your thumbs back towards your neck or the center of your shoulder blades behind your heart. Counting to 50. Keep going. Six. 
slow, 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 let out all the air. Now you're gonna come to kneeling, step your right foot forward, slide your left knee a little back, get low on the hips, and then reach your hands above your head, low crescent lunge, open your heart. Place your hands down, you're gonna quarter turn. Wide leg forward fold, let your head fall. Maybe grab the outsides of your ankles. Any variation. We're gonna spin to the back of the mat in a few breaths and then we'll come back to the center and do a headstand. So stay in your wide leg fold here. Save your inversion. Now, hands underneath your shoulders, heels and toes out. Goddess your legs, press your hands to the tops of your thighs. Bring your hands to heart center. And then kind of press your palms down with your fingers interlaced. And then you're gonna reach out and up and then interlace your palms, press down as you bend your knees. Do that two more times. Reach out and up, press down as you bend your knees. Reach out and up, press down as you bend your knees. Now you're gonna bring your hands out, goddess arms. And then in front of you, rise up onto the ball of your right foot. Internally rotate your right hip forward. Place your right knee down. Slide it further back. Come into your low crescent lunge. Your left leg is in front. You're facing the back of your mat. Hands down. Lift your back knee, quarter turn. Take another wide leg forward fold, any variation. You can stay, you can interlace your hands behind your head. Squeeze your upper back muscles. Press out through your heels and shift your hips forward, feet wide into a wide leg headstand. Now play with curling one heel in, reaching out through the heel of your extended leg, and do the same on the other side. Curl one heel in, sort of like a skandas in a tight position in your leg. Reach back out with both heels. Slowly lower your feet down. Land in your wide leg forward fold. Come into your goddess squat. Press into the tops of your thighs. Dip your shoulders back and forth a couple times. You're gonna end up on the ball of your left foot. Internally rotate your left hip around. Now, hands ground to the top of your mat. Step back and take your last vinyasa. We will meet back in downward facing dog. Soften your knees. Rise up to the balls of your feet and you're gonna float your way forward to seated. Once you're there, roll onto your back. Right knee to the chest, coming into your reclined big toe. Hold peace sign fingers to your right big toe. Use a strap or interlace your hands behind your calf or thigh if you need to. Reach your heel to the ceiling. Drop that heel to the right, keeping your left hip grounded. You might look in the opposite direction of your heel, or you can just keep your gaze up towards the ceiling. Keep that heel back to the sky. Bend your knees. Switch out your legs, draw your left knee in and extend your right foot forward. Option, move into peace sign fingers, big toe, strap on ball of foot or interlace your hands behind your calf. Work on pushing energy forward through your right heel as if you were standing on the mat. Keep your inner thigh rolling down towards the floor. Left heel falls left. Maybe you reach out through your right arm, maybe look to the right. Side to side. 
and then rock up to seated. Now step back with your left foot. Take your right leg into three point. Take a bend in your knee, stay, or you can flip your dog if you'd like to take a back bend. You're gonna turn your toes to face the back of your mat as you land, feet about hip width apart. Now maybe play with chest lifting. Go ahead and let the right hand come down and you're in full wheel. Unflip three points. Draw your right knee to your chest, come into pigeon, shin across the top of the mat. If you need to modify, take your left knee out to the side, create two 90 degree angles with your legs and then fold over your right shin. You wanna have the top of your left foot turned down and your right heel flexed if you're in traditional pigeon. Swing your left leg around, lean forward, and then you're going to step back three points, right leg back, left leg up. Take a bend in your knee, stay, or flip your dog. Stay in your flip dog if you feel okay in your shoulders. Drop your left hand, turn your fingertips in the same direction, facing your heels, full wheel. Unflip, three points. Cheetah into half pigeon on the left side. Flex your left heel. Turn your right hip, right toes, and right ankle down. You can always modify by bringing your right leg out to a 90 degree angle and then folding over your left shin. Pressing up, and swing your back leg around so you're seated. Now, I'm going to turn sideways, and I'm going to come into Vekhasana, frog pose. So I'm walking my knees as wide as I can towards opposite sides of my mat. Flexing heels, take a 90 degree angle from your hip to your knee, from your knee down to your heel and then your toes are turned out and then drop your chest down to the floor. If you need to, just take this shape upside down and preferably shift your body close to a wall, pressing your heels into the wall. Place your hands on your inner thighs for extra weight. Encourage your tailbone to lengthen behind you to feel more here.
couple more breaths. Press up into your hands. And then best effort to start to lift up to seated. I'm gonna turn my feet towards the back of my mat. Extend your heels out in front of you. Reach your arms above your head. Hashimotanasana. Pull your heart towards your toes. Scoot your hips to your heels as you roll up, coming onto your back. Slide your thumbs with your palms facing down underneath your sitting bones. Take your heels up to the ceiling for a waterfall. You can always use this time to roll your feet above your head, your hips over your shoulders, plow to shoulder stand. If you're in shoulder stand, you'll come back to plow. Roll down vertebra by vertebra, knees to chest. Knees fall to the left, gaze to the right, supine twist. Knees fall to the right, gaze falls to the left, supine twist. Knees to the chest. Open the knees, reach between your knees, grab your feet, happy baby. And then release, open your feet out nice and wide, palms up, shoulders down your back, palms out to the side. Slow, deep inhale through your nose. Open your mouth. Melting into your rest. Inhale through your nose. Last time, breathe in. Sigh out and just follow the sigh until it disappears. Shavasana.
start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Lay one hand on your heart, one on your belly. Hear that breath mother, move into your hands. Oh my mother, bring in, Take a full body stretch, extend your arms home. above your head. Reach your toes forward, let your back arch. Muscles around your ribcage stretch. And then rock around to one side. Laying in a fetal position, resting your head on your grounded arm. Pressing into the palm attached to your stacked shoulder. Feel grounded. Now press up. And you're going to sit, hands on the tops of your thighs, shoulders down your back, and just take a couple of breaths. Take in the vibration, the energy left behind from your practice. Hopefully, it was a high return on investment, being in your body, being in your breath. Hands to heart center. Now, bow your head, direct a feeling of love and gratitude inward. And then take that feeling up. Thumbs to third eye. Father, Love up, energy up, gratitude oh up. Reach out in, in front of you. Send it out. Out, in. out. And then send it back down to the ground, into the earth. And you guys are done. I will yeah, see you next time. Have a great day. Thank you for practicing. The light in me sees the light in you. <laughs>